Yes, it's true. <laughs> I'm the barista again. <laughs> you cannot tell me that this hair, this face, these breakouts do not resemble barista because it does. I smell like stale coffee beans right now. If you work in a coffee shop, then you know. It is true and it is official. I am a barista again. I am back in the barista world, back in a cafe, and I honestly couldn't be more excited. I know what you're probably thinking right now. You're probably like, wait, Stefania, hold up, wait. I thought you left your barista years behind once and for all. And here's the thing. I never definitely, definit, definitively said that. Right off the bat, I'm going to answer probably what you're thinking. How did this happen? When did this happen? What is going on? So let me tell you, I'm an open book. In the last eight months, basically, I have kind of let go of the idea of working in corporate. I don't think that it is something for me. I really am an entrepreneur and I'm very entrepreneurial spirited. I've always been my entire life. And I feel like now that I'm in my 20s, I am going after that a little bit more. And obviously with my social media, just other things that I'm working on, I just, I want to work for myself and I want to be a creative. So that's why I have remained a full-time creator. The first few months of me being fun employed and being a full-time creative, I, I struggled with this because I kept falling into what I thought other people kind of expected of me. I kept falling into like the expectations that society places on young adults. Like go to a four-year university, get a job out of college, work a nine to five, climb up the corporate ladder your entire life and hope to God you can retire at 60. I don't really subscribe to that. I, I really don't like that way of thinking. I do think that is rather outdated at this point. So I've kind of come to that conclusion in the past few months. I'm like, hey, you know, just because society says that this is the traditional path and society expects young 20 somethings to follow this path, that doesn't mean that I need to follow that path. And it also means that if I do try to follow that path, because I know that it's not for me, I'm gonna be miserable the entire time. Before I kind of came to this conclusion though, there was a period of time, a stretch of a few months where I was still very aggressively applying to di different corporate jobs, other leadership management positions in the area at different places. And eventually I got to a point where I was then looking at coffee shops in the area, but I was looking for more of like, not being in the cafe, like more of a management sort of position or like a sales position or something that wasn't directly in the cafe, but was still in a coffee company, if that makes sense. So this is all a few months ago. I was looking at positions and I found this one leadership position at a local owned cafe here in Chicago. I really liked the sound of it. And I ended up messaging the owner of the coffee shop on LinkedIn. We had a really great conversation. I actually met him a couple years ago when I was interning downtown. I was gonna go in for an interview. It was a series of interviews for this leadership position at his cafe. At the same time, I was also interviewing and had a couple other offers from corporate positions and I just really didn't know what to do. So. I'm a big believer when you don't know what to do, don't do anything. So I just kind of backed away from all three opportunities, that opportunity at that coffee shop included because I kind of had like a come to Jesus moment where I was like, wait, I don't know if I want to be working 40 hours a week at a job that it's going to take time away from this job, from being a creative, which like I've said before, like this is what sets my soul on fire. Like I love this. So like I didn't want to enter back into a situation where I was gonna be in a job that took away from this. When this all went down, everything was perfectly fine, no hard feelings. So since this happened a few months ago, I actually ended up switching like my typical coffee shop that I go to, to do work in, and I started going to his coffee shop. And despite the fact that at the time, I was like, I'm not gonna be working here, I still really enjoyed the ambiance of his cafe, and like, I loved going in there and editing and doing it, so I started like going there more. Now, I'll just be really honest with you guys, if you've been watching my YouTube videos recently, then yeah, you could probably understand and decipher that I have been in a little bit of a burnout period. Despite the fact that I love being a full-time creative, like, yeah, there are definitely times where I'm like, damn, I, I wish I kind of had a break from this in the same way that people get a break from their nine to fives. The past couple of months, I have been talking about wanting more structure back in my day. I am very good at creating a schedule and managing my time well. However, I can recognize that, you know, sometimes, I do get a little rigid with certain things and I think I have like 
over scheduled myself and like have overly structured my days at some points and I just wanted a little bit more balance a little bit more structure a little bit more I don't know just like a little basically balance that's the word like just a little bit more balance in my day so fast forward last week randomly enough I had a tarot reading last week and it was crazy accurate I'm not gonna get into the nitty-gritty details because it is personal so like just believe me when I say though that it was so scary accurate. I will never even be the slightest amount of a skeptic ever again. Like, how did she know those things about me? I don't understand. So whatever, one of the things that she said in my tarot reading was that like, I do need more structure. I need more balance. And I'm like, girl, are you in my brain? Because that's all I've been thinking about recently. So I shot my shot. And I'm a big believer that like, if you do something and the universe wants you to do that and wants you to go down that path, like it'll happen. But if the universe doesn't want you to follow that path or like that's not the opportunity for you, it'll block it. So I kind of just went into this with the idea that whatever happens happens and like it's all good. So randomly last week I sent the owner of this coffee shop an email and I was just curious to see if maybe he was looking for some part-time help. Now being a barista again, I haven't really thought about it much but it kind of just came to me in the past few weeks as like something that could maybe help with that structure, help with some of this creativity block that I sometimes run into. It hasn't been something that I've been like thinking about for a while, like this just started for me. So I sent the guy an email. He got back to me, we set up time to talk, we talked earlier this week, we ended up having a three and a half hour conversation because the owner of this coffee shop also graduated with an entrepreneurship degree. He also followed a very similar path that I followed during undergrad as I was like building my business and building my social media and being very entrepreneurial. We had such an amazing conversation, such a cerebral conversation just about both of our journeys. Already from what I do know about him, like his story inspires the hell out of me and it makes me want to work harder. So one thing led to another in that conversation and he offered for me to come in this morning and just like see how it goes. Like no strings attached, no pressure, like just for both parties to kind of feel it out and see if it's something that, you know, he wants me on his team and if it's something that I want to do. Like I actually want to do this not that i think i want to do this i'm like i think that's a good like a trial a trial shift you know so i'm like i think that's a good idea for both parties so i had my trial shift this morning at 5 a.m baby bright and early i was bright and early so i was there at 5 30 and i worked six hours and guys like when i tell you i missed it so much i was on bar the entire time my latte art has never looked better has never looked bad. I am so rusty with my latte art. I haven't done it since I left my last cafe like a year and a half ago. Why was my latte art that good today? Why? Why? Suspicious. It was so much fun interacting with customers again, making drinks, doing my, my latte art, coming up with like fun creations, making other people's fun creations, getting to connect with people, getting to talk with the other baristas. So needless to say that we will be moving forward, honey, and I will be a part-time barista again. And I am so excited. And not only that, not only am I gonna be a part-time barista, which is like chef's kiss, but also like the owner of this coffee shop is going to also serve as a mentor for me too, right? I can ask him questions. I can talk to him about things as it relates to my journey. I'm just so excited to have somebody in my network that did the damn thing is doing the damn thing that i can talk to and bounce ideas off of and actually like get inspired from someone who is also an entrepreneur in this city and honestly i i lucked out i really lucked out with this because yes it is part time it does not get in the way of social media or the other stuff that i'm working on behind the scenes you know i i could still maintain the schedule that i have currently but now just with this added to it and i couldn't be more grateful i'm so excited for this experience and i'm just really excited too to get back behind the counter and not saying like have fresh content in a way of like, oh, like more crazy Karens, more people to talk about. No, I don't mean it in that regard, but I mean fresher content in a way that I know that this is gonna do two things for me. Number one, it's going to bring some of that that barista creativity. And yes, that does include stories, crazy stories, but it also just includes 
recipes, things that people should know about coffee shops, whatever. It's gonna like bring that back for me because I'm gonna be actively in it again, you know? And the second thing too, I think what this is really gonna do for me is it's gonna take some time away from social media for me, but not in a bad way, in a, in a good way. For example, today I woke up at 4.45. I did not go on Instagram, YouTube, any social media until 1 p.m. Do you know how nice that was? Having that detachment, having that break this morning from my phone. I'm so used to waking up at 7, 7.30, and the first thing I do is I roll over and I look at my phone, and I, it's a bad habit. I've been trying to break out of it, but when you're a full-time creative, your life is on your phone. So like, how do I, how do I just not wake up and look at my phone? You know what I'm saying? Taking a little bit of pressure and attention away from social media and having someplace else to exert my energy, to put my best foot forward in for, you know, anywhere from four to eight hours out of my day, whatever it is. But it's something that I enjoy. It's something that I'm good at. Sorry, sorry, I'm not trying to be conceited. I'm not trying to be conceited. But I'm a damn good barista, and I know that. I am a damn good barista. That's my little news that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm a barista again. I am one with y'all once again. And you know what? I'm really excited for this new era. I'm really excited for this new chapter. I can't wait for all the creativity and the blessings and the abundance that it's gonna bring, as well as I get to meet some new people. I get to make some new connections with people. I get to meet and make new regulars. Like. It's gonna be great. All right, that's all. I'm not gonna take up any more of your time. And honestly, your girl could use a nap. So I'll let you know how it goes. You'll, you'll see as it comes. But anyway, <laughs> cheers to Barista Life. Okay, love you.